Before these bakes were made popular by the bacon shark shacks in Maracas Bay Village in Trinidad and Tobago, we were making and eating it for decades at home. Today, I am happy to share my secrets to making soft, fluffy, airy, and absolutely delicious fried bakes. I know it's going to become a family favorite for you too. This bowl of added four cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, and four teaspoons of sugar. Mix it well to combine. At this point, you may also rub in about two tablespoons of room temperature butter. That's one tablespoon for every two cups of flour. Take note of my claw spin technique here, folks, where my fingers become a tool for mixing the flour very well. On the blog at cookingwithria.com, I have the recipe for only two cups of flour, but because it's Saturday, two cups are not sufficient for our family. Now I'm going to gradually add the water in a quarter cup increment to moisten the flour and bring the dough together. Here I am applying my grab and squeeze method where I'm grabbing the dough and I'm squeezing it together. The goal here is to get rid of any dry flour in the bowl. So I'm going to continue to add the water and bring it all together. I know some of you are wondering, what is fried bake? Is it fried or is it baked? We have a unique name in culture in Trinidad, I just can't explain it. If these were baked, we may have referred to it as bake fry, who knows? These are actually bakes that are fried, hence the term fried bake. Now that the dough has come together and there's no more dry flour at the bottom, you're going to apply the roll it around method. You can just grab it at the top and roll it around. If you find that the dough is a little too sticky to handle, add less than a teaspoon of flour and continue to knead it. Now it's time to apply the tuck in method. You're pulling up the sides and tucking it in at the edges. Tuck, tuck, tuck until the dough becomes smooth. Another dusting here and there will definitely help to make it more manageable, but don't add too much at one time. A sticky, soft dough is always so much better than a dry, hard dough. And then you roll it and roll it and roll it a little more. should take only about four to five minutes from start to finish to knead your dough. Add about a teaspoon of butter or oil to the top, cover it with a damp towel and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes minimum. You may refrigerate it for a couple of hours or overnight. I find that refrigerating it helps to develop a nice, chewy, doughy texture. Four cups of flour makes about four lawyers or balls. Each lawyer can then be made into four smaller balls to create circles, or the larger lawyers can be made into triangles. If this sounds confusing, let me demonstrate it for you. Here I'm trying to make the dough smooth and seal it at the top. With the second piece of dough, I'm going to break it off into four pieces. I'm going to shape them into four small round balls. As I said before, these we are going to shape into the circular 
fried beets. Watch this slowly as I fold the edges to the top and then I seal it up top, spin it and seal it until it forms a nice round ball. Now cover it and let it rest for another 10 to 15 minutes and get your pot with your hot oil ready. Let's make some triangles with the first large loya. Dust the surface with flour, press your dough out and then roll the dough out into a large 9 to 10 inch circle. Apply long, smooth strokes with your rolling pin to roll the dough out evenly. A rolling pin is usually referred to as a bilina in Trinidad. This bilina I picked up in a discount store close to where I live and it's about five pounds, no kidding. Roll them out until they are about a quarter inch thick. You can do it thinner or thicker depending on whether you want light, airy, thin bakes or thicker bakes that are more dense and have more body to them. Using a knife cut into quarters. When the oil is hot but not smoking, add a quarter of the dough to the hot oil. Use your spoon and pour oil over the bake to help it to rise quicker. When the bottom is golden brown, light golden brown, or dark golden brown, brown, depending on your preference, flip the bake over. Drain it on the side of the pot and then place it on a kitchen towel or paper towel lined plate or bowl. Repeat with the remaining dough. Let's make the round bakes. You may make these thick or as thin as you like, it's all up to you. Place them on the counter and press them out evenly so that they will cook evenly. Place it in the hot oil and fry until it's golden brown using the same technique I showed before. Bakes are fried, it's amazing on its own with a simple addition of butter or cheese 
or out of this world with buljol as you're seeing here or with saltfish and tomatoes corned beef kuchula a favorite condiment to turn out in tobago not forgetting fried shark or fried fish fried egg there are so many ways to enjoy this fried bake whatever you do make it a tradition in your family mm -hmm.